Hello it's Solimik, in today's video we're gonna be replacing engine oil and the filter on my 2017 Toyota Camry. So we're gonna need a 4 liter of 0W20 synthetic or fully synthetic oil and a 1 liter of same viscosity. This 2.5 4 liter cylinder engine needs 4.6 quarts which equals to 4 liter and 350 milliliters of engine oil. We also gonna need a filter cartridge which comes with new o-rings, 64 to 65 millimeter filter socket, funnel, and oil drain pan so now we know where we need to get the job done let's pull the dipstick out and remove the oil cap i'm gonna jack up the car and put it on a jack stand because i will be working with camera and light i will need more space but even if you don't have a jack and jack stand like me here you can use your car jack just to lift it up a bit so it's easier to get under the car but i usually don't use jack and jack stand when i do my regular oil changing Alright, let's remove the drain pan plug and throw it under the engine. The first thing you will see is the oil filter, which is located at the front of the engine oil pan, and then the oil drain bolt. Let's get a 14mm and undo the drain bolt. While the oil draining, let's work on the filter. So the first thing we're gonna do, remove this drain plug. It will drain the oil from the filter, so it doesn't make a mess when you remove the plastic housing. Every new filter comes with plastic adapter that will be inserted on the filter housing like that to drain the oil filter. Okay, after the draining is done, remove the plastic adapter, give it a quick wipe and then remove the plastic housing. Now we can remove the plastic housing, it will be almost empty from engine oil. And here is how it looks like if you don't drain the oil with the adapter that comes with the filter. It will make a mess and spill the oil all over the floor if your drain pan not big enough. Even if you don't wipe inner filter housing, not a big deal. But I always do that because I've seen piece of o-rings before, that's why I always wipe it off and make sure it's clean. Same thing with the filter housing, I always clean it with carb cleaner and wipe it off before installing the new o-rings and the filter. Use a small flat screwdriver to remove the o-rings and now it's time for the new o-rings and the filter. I'm just gonna put this on and then tighten it later on the engine. Make sure the o-ring sits in its groove and then put the new filter on. I'm just gonna use some oil to loop the new o-ring. It will provide better seal and easier moving for next oil change. Alright, let's put the filter housing on. Hand tighten it first and then use the filter socket. And then tighten the drain plug and we are done with the filter. By the time we are done with the filter, the drain is completely done. Now we are gonna put the drain bolt back on. And I like to use some carb cleaner or a brake cleaner. So if there is any leak, it will be obvious to find out. Next I'm gonna jack up the car and remove the jack stands so we can have accurate level reading after filling up with new engine oil. Alright, let's fill it with new oil. I'm gonna empty the whole 4 liter and then use 1 liter for the 350 milliliter that will remaining. For the 1 liter, I always like to put 2 holes on it and then use measuring cup and measure 350 milliliter of engine oil. In my case, it's 250 milliliter cup so I will add 250 milliliter and then another 100 milliliters. Here is the 250 and here is another 100 milliliter and we are done with filling up with new oil. Alright, let's remove the funnel and put the cap back on. After few minutes letting the oil settle, we're gonna measure it with the dipstick and we are at the right level. And we are done with the oil change. But I always like to check the oil catch can that I installed in my previous video and see how much oil collected and not letting create carbon buildup in the engine. Detailed video will be in the video description box below and YouTube card if you wanna check it out. That much oil being collected after 5000 miles. You just have to drain it and clean it with the oil change. It will keep the intake valves and the piston head clean. I also like to clean the oil catch can strainer plate before putting the canister back. Now we are almost done, let's start the engine and check the filter housing in case there is any oil leak. We're gonna be using right side arrows of the steering wheel, go to the gear icon, go all the way down to the maintenance reset, press yes. 
Maintenance reset completed. And here's how to replace engine oil and the filter on 2015 to 2017 Toyota Camry. Hope the video was helpful and learned something new. If it was, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.